WBAV is V101.9. As a listener, it gives me a whole different perspective when I hear you sing the song Beautiful, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, relationships. and Because you know, to me, it sounds like, now you tell me, and when I hear the song, I'm thinking, I've already dated this dude. He didn't get it right with me. Yeah. Okay. So apparently all the hard work I put into it, you know, somebody else is going to be benefiting from it. It almost sounds like you're now this, this guy's friend. Uh, but now that I'm hearing you talk about your son and your journey, mm -hmm. which is more of what the song Beautiful is about? Um, is that a crazy question? No, no, I, I think... I, I do crazy questions. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, I understand the duality of it. The, the song is about that particular relationship, but mm -hmm. I think I was able to come to a place where I can do that, where I can say, you know what, I hope you find love, and you know, I want to find love too, and I'm not mad at you, and I hope that the next girl you, you're with, that you love her, and that you treat her right. I think because of Jordan, I was able to come to that place, because maybe mm -hmm. at a different time in my life, I would have been angry and wrote another gotta go, gotta leave, or another, mm -hmm. you know, song like that that went totally negative, but mm -hmm. totally because of Jordan. I'm just in another place right now. I was just able to see the positive things from the relationship and I was able to give him some positive energy coming out of it instead of being mad. Like, be mad about what? Like, my son's healthy, I'm not mad at no See? dude for nothing. And that's, that's really important. <laughs> that's really where I'm at right now. Like, you and, do, okay. And if nobody, if people don't get anything else from our conversation, I hope <laughs> my sisters and, you know, the fellows too, get that, you know, put things in perspective yes. about what's really, really important. What's really important. Because, yeah. you know, there's a lot of, you know, really wise things that are said in the song beautiful yeah. now tell me about the album overall which drops on tuesday yes. tell me about you know who's on the, on there with you what you're talking about what the songs are about what we can um, expect it, this album it, again like beautiful is a very positive record you know mm -hmm. my last record i had songs titled selfish mad <laughs> frustrated damn gotta go gotta leave like these are like titles yeah. of my last record you know so that album was very angry. angry. Yeah, <laughs> I was really angry, you know. And so this album is just the opposite of that. It's not. It's not angry at all. Like it's mm -hmm. just a very happy record. Um, there's some songs. It's like two songs on there for the ladies, but they don't even get that deep or serious to that. Mm -hmm. To that, like I'm not bashing or anything like that. It's just like, okay, let's talk about this relationship that that, that, that went wrong. But it's uh, not like I hate them. It's no, none of that hate. So what's your favorite on song on a beautiful all. CD? I don't have a favorite. I love so many. Really? I love when we're apart. I'm hoping that might be the second single. Um, but there's so many great ones on there. I, I just love it. My little brother Solomon wrote about five songs with me. Really? Yeah. How old is he? Yeah, he's 21. Okay. Yeah. He's still gonna be your little brother regardless. He's always gonna be my little I brother. I understand. My, <laughs> yeah. My baby brother's 40, and, and he's still my baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But he's a um, he's a he's a rapper. And I always thought he was very, you know, very gifted, you know, with, with the pen. And I was uh -huh. like, you know, you, you should come in the studio and write some songs with me. It'll be fun for this album, like, because you're really good. Like, let's just, you can you can write rhymes, but you can write songs, too. So mm -hmm. let's, let's try it. And, like, the first thing he did was, like, incredible. So, like, we, we just kept him in the studio. <laughs> we did a lot more than those five, but we probably recorded, like, almost 30 songs in all. So five of the eight we did together made the record. But, yeah, so he's, I'm really happy to have him on there. Um, and are, are there any other family members on the CD? With no, you? but my girlfriend, um, who actually sings with me, who will be singing with me tonight at the mm -hmm. Dharma Lounge, she sings on um, number six or seven, I think, Caught Up. What's it's her a name? duet, Lauren. Lauren, got yeah. You know what? Yep. And I appreciate the fact that you're giving your background singer love. Because oh, she can sing her face off. Like, why wouldn't I? I Did Jill her. Scott give you love? Um, yeah, but I never sing on her record. No? I, mean, I think she always let us sing, like, at the concerts and stuff like that. She always gave us solos and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's interesting. She, you said you tried traveled with her, but she never asked you in the studio. Why, when, uh, why do musicians do that type of thing? Um, I don't know. I think, you know, the way that Jill's project took off was, like, mm -hmm. kind of, no one was expecting that. It was, a, you know, it was a grassroots thing. I think, um... A hidden Beach was a small record label, a mm -hmm. new record label, like she was their baby and they would have been happy if she sold like 100,000 units, but she mm -hmm. sold a million units. So wow. it was like, it was like, she, it was like, it was here and it went like into the stratosphere, like out of nowhere. And we were doing like tiny clubs and doing these huge venues, like almost overnight. So I just think everything kind of happened fast and I think you don't have time to really form certain relationships, I think, mm -hmm. when things happen like that. Like I didn't know her before 
I sang for her. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So right. there wasn't time for us to develop a relationship of girlfriend closeness when her, she was like, you know, mm-hmm. being taken here and there and everywhere. So it wasn't like nothing, no, no negative okay. feelings. It's, at and since all. you're saying that y'all weren't that close girlfriends like that, so I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna ask it anyway. Yeah. You know, it seems like she had a lot of man drama with the songs you've been writing. You know, we talked about your your drama with your relationships. Mm-hmm. With Jill, did you did you ever see any man, man drama with her? No, did, no, 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 no. When I say with, no, I know I'm wrong, but that's that. so funny. You are funny. You are funny. It's no. just real. When I sang with her, she was married to her husband and for he, ten minutes. No, well, the whole time I was around, they were married. So I only I only knew she and Liza to be together when I was around. By the time they got divorced, I had my first album. Was